Mercier Philip Merce Cunningham April 16, 1919, to July 26, 2009, was an American dancer and choreographer who was at the forefront of American modern dance for more than 50 years. He is also notable for his frequent collaborations with artists of other disciplines, including musicians John Cage and David Tudor, and artists Robert Rauschenberg and Bruce Nauman. Works that he produced with these artists had a profound impact on avant-garde art beyond the world of dance. As a choreographer, teacher and leader of the Merce Cunningham Dance Company, Cunningham had a profound influence on modern dance. Many dancers who trained with Cunningham formed their own companies. They include Paul Taylor, Remy Charlip, Viola Farber, Charles Moulton, Carole Armitage, Robert Kovic, Fufwa de Mobilité, Kimberly Bartosik, Flo Anka, Jan Van Dyke, Jonah Bokar, and Alice Reyes. In 2009, the Cunningham Dance Foundation announced the Legacy Plan, a precedent-setting plan for the continuation of Cunningham's work and the celebration and preservation of his artistic legacy. Cunningham earned some of the highest honors bestowed in the arts, including the National Medal of Arts and the MacArthur Fellowship. He also received Japan's Premium Imperiali and a British Laurence Olivier Award, and was named officier of the Légion d'Honneur in France. Cunningham's life and artistic vision have been the subject of numerous books, films, and exhibitions, and his works have been presented by groups including the Paris Opera Ballet, New York City Ballet, American Ballet Theatre, White Oak Dance Project, and London's Rambert Dance Company. Biography <inaudible> 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 Merce Cunningham was born in Centralia, Washington in 1919, the second of three sons. Both his brothers followed their father, Clifford D. Cunningham, into the legal profession. Cunningham first experienced dance while living in Centralia. He took tap class from a local teacher, Mrs. Maud Barrett, whose energy and spirit taught him to love dance. Her emphasis on precise musical timing and rhythm provided him a clear understanding of musicality that he implemented in his later dance pieces. He attended the Cornish School in Seattle, headed by Nellie Cornish, from 1937 to 1939 to study acting, but found drama's reliance on text and miming too limiting and concrete. Cunningham preferred the ambiguous nature of dance, which gave him an outlet for exploration of movement. During this time, Martha Graham saw Cunningham dance and invited him to join her company. In 1939, Cunningham moved to New York and danced as a soloist in the Martha Graham Dance Company for six years. He presented his first solo concert in New York in April 1944 with composer John Cage, who became his life partner and frequent collaborator until Cage's death in 1992. In the summer of 1953, as a teacher in residence at Black Mountain College, Cunningham formed the Merce Cunningham Dance Company. Over the course of his career, Cunningham choreographed more than 200 dances and over 800 events or site-specific choreographic works. In 1963 he joined with Cage to create the Walker Art Center's first performance, instigating what would be a 25-year collaborative relationship with the Walker. In his performances, he often used the I Ching in order to determine the sequence of his dances and, often, dancers were not informed of the order until the night of the performance. In addition to his role as choreographer, Cunningham performed as a dancer in his company into the early 1990s. In 1968 Cunningham and Francis Starr published a book, Changes, Notes on Choreography, containing various sketches of their choreography. He continued to lead his company until his death, and presented a new work, Nearly 90, in April 2009, at the Brooklyn Academy of Music, New York, to mark his 90th birthday. Cunningham lived in New York City, and was artistic director of the Merce Cunningham Dance Company. He died in his home at the age of 90. Merce Cunningham Dance Company Cunningham formed Merce Cunningham Dance Company MCDC at Black Mountain College in 1953. Guided by its leader's radical approach to space, time and technology, the company has forged a distinctive style, reflecting Cunningham's technique and illuminating the near-limitless possibility for human movement. 
The original company included dancers Carolyn Brown, Viola Farber, Paul Taylor, and Remy Charlip, and musicians John Cage and David Tudor. In 1964, the Cunningham Dance Foundation was established to support his work. MCDC made its first international tour in 1964, visiting Europe and Asia. From 1971 until its dissolution in 2012, the company was based in the Westbeth Artists community in West Village. For a time, Cunningham himself lived a block away at 107 Bank Street, with John Cage. On July 20, 1999 Merce Cunningham and Mikhail Barishnikov performed together at the New York State Theater for Cunningham's 80th birthday. In its later years, the company had a two-year residency at DIA, Beacon, where MCDC performed events, Cunningham's site-specific choreographic collages, in the galleries of Richard Serra, Dan Flavin, and Saul Lewitt among others. In 2007, MCDC premiered XOVER, Cunningham's final collaboration with Rauschenberg, at Dartmouth College in New Hampshire. In 2009, MCDC premiered Cunningham's newest work, Nearly 90, at the Brooklyn Academy of Music. The company concluded its farewell tour on December 31, 2011. Topic: Artistic philosophy. Topic. Collaboration Merce Cunningham Dance Company frequently collaborated with visual artists, architects, designers, and musicians. Many of Cunningham's most famous innovations were developed in collaboration with composer John Cage, his life partner. Cunningham and Cage used stochastic random procedures to generate material, discarding many artistic traditions of narrative and form. Famously, they asserted that a dance and its music should not be intentionally coordinated with one another. After his death, John Cage was succeeded in the role of music director by David Tudor. After 1995, MCDC's music director was Takihisa Kasugi. MCDC commissioned more work from contemporary composers than any other dance company. Its repertory included works by musicians ranging from John Cage and Gordon Mumma to Gavin Bryars, as well as popular bands like Radiohead, Sigur Rose, and Sonic Youth. The company also collaborated with an array of visual artists and designers. Robert Rauschenberg, whose famous combines reflect the approach he used to create decor for a number of MCDC's early works, served as the company's resident designer from 1954 through 1964. Jasper Johns followed as artistic advisor from 1967 until 1980, and Mark Lancaster from 1980 through 1984. The last advisors to be appointed were William Anastasi and Dove Bradshaw in 1984. Other artists who have collaborated with MCDC include Daniel Arsham, Tachita Dean, Liz Phillips, Ray Kawakubo, Roy Lichtenstein, Bruce Nauman, Ernesto Netu, Frank Stella, Benedetta Taliabu, and Andy Warhol. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Chance Operations. John Cage and I became interested in the use of chance in the 50s. I think one of the very primary things that happened then was the publication of the I Ching, the Chinese Book of Changes, from which you can cast your fortune, the hexagrams. Cage took it to work in his way of making compositions then, and he used the idea of 64, the number of the hexagrams, to say that you had 64, for example, sounds, then you could cast, by chance, to find which sound first appeared, cast again, to say which sound came second, cast again, so that it's done by, in that sense, chance operations. Instead of finding out what you think should follow, say a particular sound, what did the I Ching suggest? Well, I took this also for dance. I was working on a title called, Untitled Solo, and I had made, using the chance operations a series of movements written on scraps of paper for the legs and the arms the head all different and it was done not to the music but with the music of christian wolf cunningham valued the process of a work over the product because of his strong interest in the creation of the choreography he used chance procedures in his work 
A chance procedure means that the order of the steps or sequence is unknown until the actual performance and is decided by chance. For instance in his work Sweet by Chance he used the toss of a coin to determine how to put the choreographed sequences together. Indeterminacy was another part of Cunningham's work. Many of his pieces had sections or sequences that were rehearsed so that they could be put in any order and done at any time. Although the use of chance operations was considered an abrogation of artistic responsibility, Cunningham was thrilled by a process that arrives at works that could never have been created through traditional collaboration. This does not mean, however, that Cunningham considered every piece created in this fashion a masterpiece. Those dances that did not work were quickly dropped from repertory, while those that do were celebrated as serendipitous discoveries. Cunningham used non-representational choreography which simply emphasizes movement, and does not necessarily represent any historical narrative, emotional situation, or idea. Such non-representational dance appears in many styles throughout history, but was not commonly used by ballet or Martha Graham, Cunningham's primary influences. In the use of chance procedures Cunningham abandoned the more traditional structured form of dance, he did not believe that a dance needs a beginning, middle or end. <laughs> <laughs> examples in works In 16 Dances for Soloist and Company of Three 1951, Cunningham used indeterminacy for the first time in this piece and the changing element for each show was the sequence of the sections. In Field Dances 1963, Cunningham experimented with giving the dancer more freedom. Each dancer was given a sequence of movements with which they can do with what they please. This included exiting and entering at will, executing it in any order and however many times they wanted. In Story 1963, Cunningham experimented with the variable of costumes and sets. Before each performance dancers were to choose an outfit from a pile of second-hand clothes picked out by the designer, Robert Rauschenberg. Rauschenberg was also responsible for creating a new set every show with items he could find in the theater. In Sweet by Chance 1953, it was his first work made entirely through chance procedures. Charts were created listing elements such as space, time, and positions. A coin was then tossed to determine each of these elements. Canfield 1969, this piece was created by using playing cards. Each movement was assigned a playing card and chosen randomly. Topic. Use of technology Cunningham's lifelong passion for exploration and innovation has made him a leader in applying new technologies to the arts. He began investigating dance on film in the 1970s, and after 1991 choreographed using the computer program Danceforms. Cunningham explored motion capture technology with digital artists Paul Kaiser and Shelley Eshgar to create Hand Drawn Spaces, a three screen animation that was commissioned by and premiered at SIGGRAPH in 1998. This led to a live dance for the stage, Biped, for which Kaiser and Eshgar provided the projected decor. In 2008, Cunningham released his Loops choreography for the hands as motion capture data under a Creative Commons license. This was the basis for the open source collaboration of the same name with the open ended group. Cunningham was one of the first choreographers to begin experimenting with film. He created an original work for the video Westbeth 1974. This was in collaboration with filmmaker Charles Atlas in 2009. Cunningham's interest in new media led to the creation of the behind the scenes webcast Mondays with Merce. Topic: <laughs> Perspective. The use of stage space also changed in Cunningham's choreography. The front and center spot traditionally coveted by soloists no longer exists in his works. Dance can take place on any part of the stage, it need not even be frontally oriented, but can be viewed from any angle at performances in Cunningham's own studio, for instance, audiences are seated in an L-shaped configuration. 
The viewer's focus is never directed to a particular spot, he must often decide among many centers of activity. Merce Cunningham sees randomness and arbitrariness as positive qualities because they exist in real life. Most of Cunningham's choreographic process works to break the boundaries of putting on a show. The removal of center stage is an example of this. Without a focal point for the audience, no one dancer or step holds the most value and can be seen as arbitrary or not. Topic: <laughs> Legacy Plan. The Cunningham Dance Foundation announced the Legacy Plan (LLP) in June 2009. The plan provided a roadmap for the future of the Merce Cunningham Dance Company, as envisioned by Cunningham. The first of its kind in the dance world, the plan represented Cunningham's vision for continuing his work in the upcoming years, transitioning his company once he was no longer able to lead it, and preserving his oeuvre. The legacy plan included a comprehensive digital documentation and preservation program, which ensures that pieces from his repertory can be studied, performed and enjoyed by future generations with knowledge of how they originally came to life. By other provisions of the plan, the Merce Cunningham Trust, established by Cunningham to serve as the custodian for his works, controls his dances for licensing purposes. Cunningham Associates prepared detailed records of the dances so they could be licensed and given authentic productions by other companies. In addition, the plan outlined a final international tour for the company, and, ultimately, the closure of the Cunningham Dance Foundation and Merce Cunningham Dance Company and the transfer of all assets to the Merce Cunningham Trust. From Merce's death at age 90 through the board's last meeting in 2012, the legacy plan implemented his wish that the company complete a worldwide legacy tour and then close. December 31, 2011 was the final performance of the Merce Cunningham Dance Company. The final meeting of the Board of Directors for the Merce Cunningham Dance Company was held March 15, 2012, in Cunningham's studio at the top of the Westbeth Building in the West Village. Topic exhibitions There have been numerous exhibitions dedicated to Cunningham's work. In addition, he is a visual artist represented by Marguerite Roeder Gallery. The major exhibition invention, Merce Cunningham and Collaborators at the New York Public Library for the Performing Arts closed on October 13, 2007. Merce Cunningham, Dancing on the Cutting Edge, an exhibition of recent design for MCDC, opened at the Museum of Contemporary Art, North Miami, in January 2007. A trio of exhibitions devoted to John Cage, Robert Rauschenberg, and Merce Cunningham, curated by Ron Bishop, were shown in the spring of 2002 at the Gallery of Fine Art, Edison College, Fort Myers, Florida. A major exhibition about Cunningham and his collaborations, curated by Germano Sellant, was first seen at the Fundacio Antoni Tapies in Barcelona in 1999, and subsequently at the Fundacao de Saraves, Porto, Portugal, 1999, the Museum Moderner Kunst Siftung Ludwig, Vienna, 2000, and the Museo d'Arte Contemporanea, Castello di Rivoli, Turin, 2000. Topic works Cunningham choreographed almost 200 works for his company, Suite for Five 1956 Music, John Cage, Music for Piano Costumes, Robert Rauschenberg Lighting, Beverly Emmons Crises 1960 Music, Conlon Nancaro from Rhythm Studies for Player Piano Costumes, Lighting, Robert Rauschenberg Rainforest 1968 Music, David Tudor Decor, Andy Warhol Silver Clouds Costumes, Jasper Johns Uncredited Credited Lighting, Richard Nelson Second Hand 1970, Music, John Cage, Cheap Imitation Decor and Costumes, Jasper Johns Lighting, Richard Nelson 1970, Christine Schallenberg 2008, Sound Dance 1975, Music, David Tudor, Toneburst and Untitled 1975-1994 Decor, Lighting, Costumes, Mark Lancaster Fabrications 1987, Music, Emmanuel Dimas de Mello Pimenta, Short Waves and SBB 
CBR decor, costumes, Dove Bradshaw lighting, Josh Johnson's CRW DSPCR 1993 music, John King, Blues 99 decor, lighting, costumes, Mark Lancaster Ocean 1994 music, David Tudor, soundings, Ocean Diary and Andrew Culver, Ocean 1-95 decor, lighting, costumes, Marcia Skinner Biped 1999 music, Gavin Bryars, Biped decor, Paul Kaiser, Shelley Eshkar costumes, Suzanne Gallo lighting, Aaron Kopp split sides 2003 music, Radiohead, Sigur Rose decor, Robert Heishman, Catherine Yoss costumes, James Hall lighting, James F. Ingalls Views on Stage 2004 Music, John Cage, ASLSP and Music for Two Decor, Ernesto Netu, Other Animal Costumes, James Hall Lighting, Josh Johnson iSpace 2006 Music, Mikel Rouse, International Cloud Atlas Decor, Henry Samuelson, Blues Arrive Not Anticipating What Transpires Even Between Themselves Costumes, Henry Samuelson Lighting, Josh Johnson iSpace 2007 Music, David Behrman, Long Throw and or Annie Lockwood, Jitterbug Decor, Daniel Arsham, Ode, Eon Costumes, Daniel Arsham Lighting, Josh Johnson XOVER 2007 Music, John Cage, Aria 1958 and Fontana Mix 1958 Decor and Costumes, Robert Rauschenberg, Plank Lighting, Josh Johnson Nearly 90 2009 Music, John Paul Jones, Takihisa Kasugi, Sonic Youth Decor, Benedetta Taliabu Costumes, Romeo Geely for IOIPSE Item Lighting Writing, Brian McDevitt Video Design, Frank Alou. Topic Honors and Awards 2009 Jacobs Pillow Dance Awards Skowhegan Medal for Performance 2008 Honorary Doctorate of Fine Arts from Bard College, Annandale-on-Hudson, NY 2007 Nelson A. Rockefeller Award, Purchase College School of the Arts, State University of New York Montgomery Fellow Arts and Literature, Dartmouth College, Hanover NH 2006 Honorary Doctorate of Fine Arts, Cornish College of the Arts, Seattle Washington 2005 Honor Honorary Doctorate of Humane Letters, University of Minnesota, Minneapolis, Minnesota Premium Imperiali, Tokyo 2004 Officier of the Légion d'Honneur, France 2003 Edward McDowell Medal in Interdisciplinary Art, The McDowell Colony, Peterborough NH 2002 Kitty Carlisle Hart Award for Outstanding Achievement in the Arts Arts and Business Council, New York New York Mata Music at the Anthology Award, New York New York Medal of the City of Dijon, France 2000 2001 Coat of Arms of the City of Malouz, France La Grande Médaille de la Ville de Paris Echelon Vermeil from the Mayor of Paris Career Transition for Dancers Award, New York New York Herald Archangel Award, Glasgow, Scotland Village Award, Greenwich Village Society for Historic Preservation, New York Honorary Degree from Edith Cowan University, Perth, Western Australia 2000 Nijinsky Special Prize, Monacoth Dorothy and Lillian Gish Prize, New York New York Named a Living Legend by the Library of Congress, Washington, D.C. 1999 Premio Internazionale, Gino Tani, Rome Handel Medallion from the Mayor of New York City, New York Isadora Duncan Dance Award for Lifetime Achievement, San Francisco, California Fellow of the Academy of Performing Arts, Hong Kong The Key to the City of Montpelier, France 1998 Bagley Wright Fund Established Artists Award, Seattle, Washington 1997 Barnard College Medal of Distinction, New York, New York York Grand Prix of the Société des Auteurs et Compositeurs Dramatiques, France 1996 Nelly Cornish Arts Achievement Award from his alma mater, Cornish College of the Arts, Seattle Washington 1995 Honorary Degree from Wesleyan University, Middletown CT Karina Ari Award Grand Prix Video Dance with Elliot Kaplan, Stockholm, Sweden Golden Lion of the Venice Biennale, Italy 1993 Inducted into the National Museum of Dances Mr. and Mrs. Cornelius Vanderbilt Whitney Hall of Fame in Saratoga Springs, NY Dance and Performance Award for Best Performance by a Visiting Artist, London, England Medal of Honor from the Universidad Complutense of Madrid, Spain with John Cage, posthumously the Wexner Prize of the Wexner Center for the Arts at Ohio State University, Columbus O New York Dance and Performance Award, Bessie, New York NY Tiffany Award from the International Society of Performing Arts Administrators, New York NY 1990 National Medal of Arts, Washington, D.C. Porcelli Prize, Italy 
Digital Dance Premier Award, London, England. Award of Merit from the Association of Performing Arts Presenters, New York, NY. 1989. Chevalier of the Légion d'honneur, France. 1988. Dance, USA National Honor, New York, NY. 1987. Alger H. Meadows Award for Excellence in the Arts, Southern Methodist University, Dallas, TX. 1985. Laurence Olivier Award for Best New Dance Production Pictures, London, England Kennedy Center Honors, Washington, D.C. MacArthur Fellowship from the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation, Chicago, Ill. 1984 Inducted as an honorary member into the American Academy and Institute of Arts and Letters, New York, N.Y. 1983 the Mayor of New York's Award of Honor for Arts and Culture, New York, NY. 1982 The Samuel H. Scripps, American Dance Festival Award, Durham, North Carolina Commandeur de l'Ordre des Arts et des Lettres, France 1977 Capizio Award, New York, New York 1975 New York State Award, Albany, New York 1972 BITEF Award, Belgrade, Yugoslavia Honorary Degree from the University of Illinois, Champaign, Urbana Ill 1966 Gold Medal for Choreographic Invention at the Fourth International Festival of Dance, Paris 1964 Medal of the Society for the Advancement of Dancing in Sweden, Stockholm 1960 Dance Magazine Award, New York New York 1959 and 1954 Fellowships from the John Simon Guggenheim Memorial Foundation, New York New York Topic. Footnotes Topic. Sources Bredo, Moritz von. 2012. Rebellisch Pianisten. Das Leben der Greta Sultan zwischen Berlin und New York. Biography, 368 pp. in German. Schott Music, Mainz, Germany. ISBN 978-3-7957-0800-9 Biography on pianist Greta Sultan, John Cage's and Merce Cunningham's close friend. Many aspects regarding Cage and Cunningham. Bremser, M. ed. 50 Contemporary Choreographers. Routledge. ISBN 0-415-10364-9 Cunningham, Merce, 1968, Changes, Notes on Choreography. Something Else Press. Cunningham, M. and Leshave, J., 1992, The Dancer and the Dance. Marion Boyars Publishers. ISBN 0 7145 2931 1. Vaughn, David, 1999, Merce Cunningham, 50 Years. Aperture. ISBN 0 89381 863 1. Vaughn, D. and Cunningham, M. 2002, Other Animals. Aperture. ISBN 978 0 89381 946 0. Costalanitz, R. 1998, Merce Cunningham, Dancing in Space and Time. Da Capo Press. ISBN 0-306-80877-3 Brown, Carolyn 2007, Chance and Circumstance 20 Years with Cage and Cunningham. Alfred A. Knopf. ISBN 978-0-394-40191-1 Biography 53750 Topic external links Merce Cunningham Trust Merce Cunningham Dance Company Archival footage of the Merce Cunningham Dance Company performing in Sound Dance in 2009 at Jacob's Pillow. DLAR Artists Bio PBS, American Masters Biography Kennedy Center Biography Archive footage of the Merce Cunningham Dance Company performing Cunningham's Peace Banjo in 1955 at Jacob's Pillow American Ballet Theater Biography Merce Cunningham Film and Video at Electronic Arts Intermix Merce Cunningham in the Mediateca Media Art Space Merce Cunningham on IMDb Merce Cunningham, Daily Telegraph Obituary Guardian Obituary Obituary in the Star Gazette New York York Times Obituary, the 28th of July 2009.